All right, you guys. So, as I always do at the end of the year, usually I do prediction videos and I kind of do a little fun and look back. Well, in this case, I'm going to read out some predictions that somebody else made in a note. Basically, on social media, they made a little note and they wanted me to kind of document it. So, they don't have a video of themselves making it, but I'm going to recite on their behalf what they said. So, um, that being said, without further ado, I'm going to tally up how this guy did. He had 10 predictions. And at the end of the video, I'm going to maybe say some things that I predicted, even though I don't do it on video. I have, uh, if anything, I at least had this predictions in my head and things that I've said on social media. So, that being said, here we go. The Redskins will be the worst team in the NFL gunning for the number one overall pick. The Green Bay Packers will not win the NFC North. Like the Washington Redskins, the Miami Dolphins will also be terrible and contend for the top pick in the NFL draft. The Minnesota Vikings and the Pittsburgh Steelers will finish in dead last in both of their respective divisions. The Cleveland Browns and the Buffalo Bills will make a triumphant, epic return to the postseason. Jay Cutler will win the NFL Comeback Player of the Year award. The Denver Broncos will suffer a collapse at the end of the season and go on some sort of a losing streak near the end of the regular season. The Chicago Bears will win the NFC North as a way of a corresponding move to Jay Cutler winning the Comeback Player of the Year. The Philadelphia Eagles will struggle at the quarterback position. They should have kept Nick Foles. Sam Bradford will be terrible. The Carolina Panthers will be Super Bowl contenders because, in my opinion, Ron Rivera is one of the best head coaches, and as with how the Chicago Bears, being a 1985 Chicago Bear, Ron Rivera is going to be one of the best head coaches, so the Panthers will be Super Bowl contenders. Cam Newton will be a bust. I think he's going to be a gimmick quarterback, and I think that I think that he's just going to have a good couple years, and then the league is going to adjust to him. So I think overall he's going to be a bust. The St. Louis Rams will contend for a playoff spot. I really like Nick Foles, and I think that their offense will finally get it together. I'm not so sure of the Todd Gurley pick, but I think that the Rams... They have what it takes with the talent they got on defense. I think Foles is going to solve their offensive woes. So I think the Rams have a shot at the postseason. The Miami Dolphins and the New York Giants will not have the same coach heading into 2016. I think Tom Coughlin, unfortunately, they've been mediocre. They've been riding in purgatory. And I think they're going to let him go. And on the other side, for the Dolphins, I think the same thing will happen with Joe Philbin. Both of those guys have been playing mediocre football in the last few years. Really, the Dolphins should have axed Philbin the year before. So I think that both of those guys are going to have their coaches axed, either mid-season or near the end of the season. The Kansas City Chiefs are going to go 8-8 eight and eight at best. I think they're a mediocre bunch, though maybe 9-7 is possible, but there's something about the Chiefs when it comes to finishing games. They always tend to not be bad. They're not going to be great, so they look right like a mediocre team. That's something that Andy Reid is good at, so I'm going to say they're going to be a mediocre purgatory for this season. <laughs> The 
the Atlanta Falcons are going to contend for the NFC South. I really like their draft picks. I like Vic Beasley. I think the Falcons have, a, have what it takes to at least make noise. I think the NFC South is kind of a division. Considering how last year they were pretty terrible, I think that the Falcons have what it takes to at least contend. They'll, they'll be contending with the Panthers. So look, look for the Falcons to make some noise this year. The Oakland Raiders will go 6-10. and 10. I think that best-case scenario that I made in my preseason video of 6-10, and 10, I still think that's very possible. I like what, it, I like what they can do to go at least 6-10. and 10. I don't, I'm not so sure about the defense. I think they're just going to win games on offense, and I think they're going to uh, – I think Carr will hopefully show he's a franchise quarterback. I like what I'm seeing on, on offense, just all the tools with Amari Cooper, Clyde Walford, and so on. The Washington Redskins will go can be a mediocre team and they have a chance to go eight and eight. I think the biggest victory in itself is that Robert Griffin the third is benched, which is something Dan Snyder usually he has all the control and the power, but he's letting Jay Gruden do his thing. And by having Jay Gruden not play RG three, there is hope. So the, the Redskins look like a mediocre team. I'm not guaranteeing anything outside of that, but I think 8-8 eight and eight is a very good possibility for them because they've, had, they've been competitive with RG3 at, at games that I've seen. So it's possible they, they're going to be a mediocre team rather than a d bottom-dwelling laughingstock. Colin Kaepernick will be benched at some point in the season. He's going to be struggling and the biggest problem is that they, the 49ers did not hire an offensive-minded coach. They just hired a guy that pretty much was a yes-man, and their offensive coach was promoted from within. So Kaepernick doesn't have his head coach anymore. He's going to fall hard, and I think Blaine Gabbert will probably start at some point in the season. I, I, don't, like, I don't like the trajectory and projection that he's going to have with that coaching staff and what happened the year before. My Super Bowl pick, I have the Packers over the Colts. I think both of those teams have what it takes to be the contenders. I like Andrew Luck. I like Aaron Rodgers. I like teams with a great quarterback. And I think both of them have a good foundation going forward. So, yeah, they may have both lost in the championship games of their conference the year before, but there's something about the Packers. I'm just high on, on what Green Bay can do. Uh, I think they're, they're very capable of winning the Super Bowl. So that, that is my Super Bowl pick. <laughs> So there you have it, guys. You know, you can go ahead and laugh. Now, look, I think I got was it three right or <laughs> something. I mean, I had a lot of things in my mind, a lot of things I said, and you know, I'm, I'm going to choose the ones I got wrong just so I'm not cheating and things I'm not <laughs> just looking back and playing the hindsight card. So those were things that I thought were going to happen. And, of course, a lot of that was wrong, and I'm as human as anybody else. So uh, that being said, I'm going to be reviewing the Oakland Raiders draft classes from 2009 to present. I mean, that was my time on YouTube, so be sure to see that. That'll be my off-season filler series. So, uh, and sadly, there were not as many prediction videos. I mean, I love doing this. I know it's fun to poke fun at others, but, you know, this year I figured I can poke fun at myself. Why not? Why not? Just see things, that because I, I say a lot of things, too. I have my opinions like any, anyone else. So, uh, that being said... Go Raiders, let me know what you all thought, and what are some things that maybe look forward to this uh, draft class review that I'm going to be making in the next uh, coming weeks. See you guys later.